Yeah, I jinxed it. Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, Dortmund Bayern just ended, and I'm just saying this. Uh, the other games are about to start, but in the video that you see, I will of course not talk about this, although you will see the results. Uh, they are most likely, if I get to it, to edit it that way. Well, that went in a way the way we expected it. Uh, I have to say, the game was a rather even affair and it was decided by a little bit stroke of genius and also a little bit uh, due to Bayern being so much more experienced, having so much more class in their squad than Dortmund. Uh, the whole attacking fury that Dortmund can unleash did not happen at all. There was a short period, around minute 30 to maybe just before the goal, uh, where I thought Dortmund maybe could put Bayern into trouble. Although Bayern was, I think, in the first half the slightly better team. I think there was a chance where Gnabry shot and um, Piszczek uh, just got the ball off the line. Um, but then, yeah, a little bit, a little bit Dort Dortmund was coming. But in the end, uh, when I thought, okay, it's going to go nil-nil to the half, probably the correct result, because it was rather even game. I thought maybe slight advantage Bayern in the first half, but uh, all over even game. And then Kimmich uh, lobs it towards the net. Birki has the hand on there, but he cannot get the power behind uh, the safe and the ball drops into the net. Was a really nicely taken shot. Uh, you kudos to uh, Kimmich for that. I have to say this was tip of my head. Very nicely done. The saying goes: if the goalie has the hand there, you should save it. Mm, yeah, I think a, bit, a little bit better positioning. Although you know, do you expect it that that he from outside the box he lobs it that way? Probably not. So mm, yeah, I, I don't want to absolve the goalkeeper from all the guilt on this goal. But on the other side, I think it was a stroke of genius and that's where we should put our focus. So it is 1-0 and Bayern actually right there, right after I think I thought they will go for the 2-0, which they did. I think there was a, ah, this, ah, this was much later. They, they had some uh, good chances there, but then Dortmund got in, into the game. The problem is they had more possession in the second half, they had more passes, they were weaving and everything. The problem is the Bayern defense did not offer anything to them. Um, I think there was a free kick. Uh, and, uh, uh, and before that, Guerrero almost made, made the chance, but he, he was upset. I think he hit the outside of the post uh, and then a free kick. Guerrero, if I'm not mistaken, but too centrally. <laughs> that was it. There were some shots, you know, five shots on goal, but I have to say it was not real chances. Yes, the chance blow surplus was with Dortmund, but I actually always had the feeling, despite Dortmund really trying, and Dortmund, I think overall they took the best out of, out of, out of it, they just couldn't find a breakthrough, and you could see um, if two teams play well, well enough, the better team typically wins, and, uh, and with better I don't mean playing better, but the team with uh, better players, and that for sure is Bayern, because if I look at the defense of Dortmund, and that's probably... The big one is, yeah, uh, it doesn't look as solid. And even this makeshift defense with Alaba and uh, Boateng in the center. Boateng kind of playing occasion again and Alaba is a new revelation as a central defender. Yeah, this will only cause more upheaval in the Austrian squad, I think. Where uh, where should, should, should we play him now? Because he wants, wants, wants to play a uh, number eight role, kind of. Um, or should he play on the left? Should he play now not play in the center of the def defense? We shall see. In any case, I have to say, yeah, uh, Bayern and Lewandowski hit the post of shot that was deflected by Hummels. I think Lewandowski should, should have gotten a penalty in stoppage time. Uh, I mean, he was really pushed. I was a little bit surprised that this was not given. Um, and yeah, I think a story could have been if Mario Götze, who just was told that he can, uh, his contract at Dortmund will not, because then he comes on and gets a goal. <laughs> That would have been nice, but you know, uh, nothing. Really not much coming from 
Dortmund. Um, and then Haaland also got injured. Uh, he, he seemed a little bit unlucky in the whole game, I have to say. So, yeah. Bayern wins it. Seven points clear. Doesn't matter what Leipzig is doing there also. Seven points clear. And you have... Um, six games to go. That should be the championship. Uh, actually, if you look at goal, the, the, the difference is eight points clear. So, um... I think a title is goes for the eighth time in a row to Bayern and again it's almost like last season tough start and then they get rolling and they don't even need to play the whole season well to become champions and yeah Bayern is the better team sorry to say not very happy about the whole thing but that's what, what, what. So, my wife said I should also talk about the other three games that happened in the evening. Um, we have the time, seemingly. <laughs> so, I'm happily doing that and I decided I'm not gonna put the Bayern shirt, I just wear what I'm wearing, which was the wonderful Black Hawks shirt that I got, so uh, more into hockey now. Very briefly, the other three matches. Uh, we had Leverkusen Wolfsburg. Um, kind of surprising but you know Leverkusen had a lot of games they played on Monday they played on Saturday they play now again um, did not look good for, uh, at, at all water showing already Wolfsburg was the largely better team in the first half and was already going uh, for a lead through Pongracic after an Arnold assist then uh, the turning point after a huge chance already for Renato Steffen uh, there was a free kick given thereafter where nice they were discussing who is taking who's taking it seems like Ar Arnold and another guy is pulling up his pants like Ronaldo and Arnold take, takes his stiff leckle by Harvard's into goal makes it um, uh, 2 nil for Wolfsburg and that seemed to be the uh, decision three minutes later Joao Victor with a nice assist uh, Renato Steffen heads in he is making lots of uh, headers and then again after this is by Arnold Pongracic again via header slightly offside maybe Baumgartner can put only one back which means that Leverkusen is really destroying their goal difference and this had an impact because the Bremen Gladbach game ended goalless it was a rather even game maybe Bremen were even a little bit better having some chances but you know um, Meaning that with that point Gladbach can leapfrog, as we will see in a short uh, on the table, can leapfrog Leverkusen again. So whatever Leverkusen worked on, they undid now. And then I think the game of the evening was uh, Frankfurt against Freiburg. Crazy game. I mean, it was not much happening for longer. Frankfurt still a little bit unsecure. Un Vincenzo Grifo scores a goal and you think, oh yeah, yeah, here we go again. And then Andre Silva gets the equalizer and for... Uh, the next roughly 30 minutes, Frankfurt is playing wonderfully and creating chance after chance. Silva, um, uh, Kamada, you name it, they miss. They miss and huge, huge chance. It was one of the best games they said uh, that Frankfurt has been playing for a long time. The problem is, Peterson makes the goal. And I have to say, in both those goals for Freiburg, uh, Stefan Ilsack, Austrian defender, uh, actually he's a defensive midfield, didn't look good. So yeah, uh, it's 2-1 for, for Freiburg and then uh, through Höhler, um, they get in the 3-1. Nice assist by Grifo. It was a counter-attack. Counter and you're thinking, Frankfurt, here we go again. Are we really getting into relegation trouble? The good news is Daichi Kamada uses, um, you know, some miscommunication makes it 2-3 and then Chandler who came on just shortly before makes it 3-3 and Frankfurt in the 82nd Frankfurt even had time to push for a winner but couldn't find it now they stopped their losing streak but still yep 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 we have to see two notes also on the Dortmund Bayern matchup um, I honestly I did not see the penalty situation or uh, um, of um, Boateng where he seemingly goes down and touches the ball with his hand and the Dortmund player really uh, didn't, real, uh, didn't realize that and no one at VAR didn't realize it either. Uh, I remember that the commentator said at the, uh, at the end when there was the Lewandowski situation that um, yeah was two that you can or cannot give and both were not given. I thought that the check on level Lewandowski 
I would have given I would have given it and what I hear now again I just saw a little bit uh what thing is falling down hits his arm I hate pants because it's not on purpose but on the other side he makes his body bigger yeah with the new rules no one knows exactly what's happening so yeah that and the last thing and I forgot this in the original video how about those Dortmund jerseys with the sponsor black I liked it I actually it looks a lot a lot lot better I want to get rid of the evonic stuff well and so with that back to the original video not quite yet let's quickly look what today's uh, games meant for the standings Bayern seven points clear 90% their champion so Bundesliga we can call it Bayern Munich will be champions um, Gladbach increased their chances to make it in the Champions League they go ahead of Leverkusen um, and yeah other than that nothing really changed except that Wolfsburg uh, moved a little bit closer and separated itself from the this incapable pack Freiburg Schalke and whatever so yeah uh, Wolfsburg is probably the last qualifier for Europa League spots Frankfurt still 538 says they're not um, in danger of being relegated but to be honest they think they're too good let's see about that and now we go back to the original video well as i said uh you will get probably friday morning you will get because because i want to wait for the um, stuttgart hamburg game to really have a full roundup of bundesliga and then a little bit second bond bundesliga so you will probably get this friday morning if not at least in europe lunchtime um and then we'll see from there um i wanted to get this in because it's it was the biggest game and yeah it had a beautiful winning goal and we know now who will be the champions let me know your thoughts about the game give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.